Do you struggle to stay consistent in prayers, Bible study, fellowship, or in your overall work with God? Do you feel tired and uneasy when it comes to the things of God? Do you struggle in secrecy to build a relationship with God or with Jesus and find it very difficult to stay consistent? Wow, this video is for you. Now, you will learn how you can be consistent um, to the things of God and to the things of the Spirit. So, let's get right in. Hello, welcome back everyone. My name is Fulfillment Obi and this is the Living Flames of Fire. This channel was established to help you grow spiritually and to take you deeper in the knowledge of Christ. So we'll talk about everything concerning the Christian faith. So it will do you good to hit the subscribe button and turn on the by clicking on the bell icon. So when we release more powerful, life-changing videos as this, you will be the first to be notified. As humans, staying consistent in anything is difficult and staying focused is a huge tax. Why? Because life gets in the way our mood our emotions and the way we feel always get in the way the problem we face discourages us and our environment doesn't make it any easier so how do we build consistency especially with the things of the spirit and with the things of god now before we talk about how you can stay consistent with god or you can build consistency with god there are things you need to get into the root of your heart so you can build a foundation that will help you build consistency in the long run so let's talk about it number one stay consistent is sacrifice yes if you determine to stay consistent in whatever it is um it is going to cost you a lot it's going to cost you something it's going to be a big sacrifice at your end so if you're not ready to sacrifice some things in your life then being consistent or staying consistent is going to be very difficult jesus speaking he said anyone who wants to follow me must first deny himself so if you really want to build consistency it's it in your heart that it's going to cost you something and you're going to sacrifice something number two staying consistent is a test of of your faith the only way god will test your faith to so see if you are really strong in faith is to see if you remain consistent despite the challenges and the problem you face so if you are unable to stay consistent in the long haul it means your faith is weak the bible says you are going to face diverse temptation and trial but blessed is that person who remain consistent who remain faithful even unto the very end so get it into the roots of your heart Number three, there are things you cannot receive from God except you stay consistent. No matter how hard you try, if you are not consistent, you can never receive some kind of blessings from the Lord. Jesus talk, talked about a parable where a man who needed something and he had to go banging at the door of a rich man until that stuff he needed was released onto him. And Jesus talked about persistency. So there's a place for consistency in the scriptures. If you are not ready to be consistent, especially in the things of the Spirit, do not expect to receive good, great, and weighty things from the Lord. Number four, understand that the goal of the devil, the enemy, is to stop you from being consistent. Have you ever wondered why when it's time to pray, that's when things begin to happen around your life that will stop you from praying? Have you ever noticed that when, when you want to take a Bible to read, that's when things that will stop you from reading that Bible begin to happen in your life? That's when you begin to feel depressed. That's why all kinds of things begin to pop up at you. It is the devil that is trying to play trick at your life. To stop Stop you from being consistent so the day you decide to be consistent with God the enemy rise up against you so you should know this so it is not just physical it's a spiritual battle now after knowing all this let's talk about how you can build consistency with God how you can stay consistent to the things of God and to the things of the spirits number one understand that Christianity is life not just part of your life or a subsection of your life if you get this into your mind you'll be able to build consistency in the long haul so if you don't stay Christian as your life then it will not be important enough for you to stay consistent so when you take Christianity as the totality of your life every part of your life is connected to your Christian life then in this way you'll be able to build consistency you'll be able to um, sacrifice you'll be able to give us some things to stay consistent with God so Christianity is your life not just part of your life and it's the most important um, of everything you do here on earth number two identify those enemies that stop you from being consistent and cut them off it may be your phone maybe social media maybe gaming it may be some um, kind of um, group you belong to whatever it is that have been stopping you from being consistent cut it off the bible 
Bible says that if your hands, your leg, your eyes will make you from, um, will stop you from entering the kingdom of God, then it's time for you to cut it off, pull it out, and throw it away from your life so that nothing stops you from getting into the kingdom of God. Whatever will stop you from being consistent, whatever it is in your life, identify it and cut it off. Number three, resist the devil. The enemy is against your soul. The enemy, the enemy is against anything that is good in your life. So when it's time for you to do whatever um, it is that is relating to God, the enemy will come with the thoughts to discourage you, to stop you, to make you not to be consistent. So it is your duty as a believer to receive power from the Holy Spirit to resist the enemy. So whenever those thoughts come, whenever those things pop up in your life, resist the devil and he will what? He will flee from you. Number four, submit your life to God and to the leadership of the Holy Spirit. The Bible says the Holy Spirit will teach us all things and will lead us unto all truths. So the Holy Spirit is the only person that will enable you to stay consistent because with your power, by your power alone, by your strength alone, you will fail. The Bible says, by strength shall no man prevail. So depend on the Holy Spirit, it will help you to stay consistent. Those times you are weak, those times you feel tired and discouraged, just tell the Holy Spirit, help me. And you receive strength from above that will enable you to stay consistent. Number five, let the fire of God burn in your heart. Let the zeal and passion for God consume your life. Now, this is the true path and the only way to stay consistent with God. If you don't have zeal, if you don't have passion, um, I can tell you that you're going to get tired in the way. So the passion, the zeal, the fire of God is what is going to keep you um, when those discouraging times come. It's going to keep you when everything in your life is falling apart. So if the fire of God is not burning within you, you will get tired and it will become very difficult to stay consistent in the long haul. If you are struggling to grow spiritually or, or understand the things of the Spirit, you can check out our playlist, Spiritual Growth. Um, the link will be in the description or you can hit the YouTube card up here to get those videos. Lastly, let your love for Jesus be unconditional and unmeasurable. If you don't have love, genuine love for Jesus, you will not stay consistent. That is the truth. And this is the most important part um, of this video. This is what you should never forget. Let your love for Jesus be unconditional and un unmeasurable. The love for Jesus will push you to be consistent. It will help you stay with God in difficult situations and in difficult times. And because you love Jesus genuinely, nothing will stop you. Nothing on earth, nothing under the heavens will stop you from being consistent. So, do you really love Jesus? Do you really love Jesus? Let me know in the comments section below. Wow, we've talked about a lot in this video. We've talked about, we've talked about consistency. Um, there are lots more to come. So I want to encourage you to share this video, to like this video, and to subscribe. More videos will be to come. There may be some videos on your screen and you want to click on them. They will change your life forever. Thank you for watching this video. I really appreciate the effort and I'll see you in the next video.